Hey guys, I want to record a longer video about this plant. This is um, a natural hybrid of Trichocerois candicans. Trichocerois candicans is a night flowering species that has large white flowers. Like, they are often huge. Candicans is a very useful plant for hybrid breeding. And there are a million hybrids with it, therefore. And this is a natural hybrid. So everywhere Trichocerois candicans grows, it hybridizes with the plants that are in the nearby area. For example, Trichocerois huasha, aka Sörensia huasha. This influenced the flower color. For example, like in this case, this is a little bit rose colored. But there are many other natural hybrids of Trichocerois candicans. They have like red flowers, yellow flowers, orange flowers. There's a whole range of amazing natural hybrids with different flower colors of Trichocerois candicans. And unlike uh, the botanical species candicans, these natural hybrids are day flowering. They are day flowering and they have colored flower co flower colors like such as this one but again this is one of the least colorful ones that that i've seen there are many more yeah and probably because like the father of these hybrids could have been trichocerois huasha could have been something like echinopsis grandiflora which I will show you now. Check out the spines. So this is the natural hybrid of candicans. And now let's have a look at Echinopsis grandiflora. This one. There's a similarity. And very often these natural hybrids are like a mix between candicans and the other plant that's the parent. So let's have a look at the natural hybrid again. Okay. The flowers of this plant are smaller. They are smaller than the flowers of botanical Trichocerois candicans. This is probably because of the other parent. The other parent just reduced the, the flower color, uh, the flower size, simply because the father didn't have that big of a flower or the or the ancestor that caused this like different flower color in these in these natural hybrids yeah and these were described in uh, cactus lit literature by Kurt Backerberg Kurt Backerberg was this german like botanist and he made a lot of names a lot of descriptions a lot of unnecessary ones and his system um, divided between day flowering and night flowering species for example so he made Helianthocerois and Trichocerois which was not by Backerberg but he used he used to um describe a lot of species in the in the genus Trichocerois too. So he described this as Helianthocerois pseudocandicans or Trichocerois pseudocandicans. So due to the fact that the botanical species Trichocerois candicans was flowering white and was flowering at night, he needed to make a new name for this one so it would fit into the system. So yeah, this is Trichocerois pseudocandicans, also called Helianthocerois pseudocandicans. Yeah, it's just a funky name for day flowering um, Trichocerois candicans hybrids with colored flowers. Yeah, and that's basically it. Um, body looks different to classic candicans I, I feel like they are a little bit smaller 
have more ribs very often. But yeah, there are some extremely beautiful natural hybrids of Trichocerois candicans. I'm a big fan of the species and it is used in so many cactus hybrids. Like a lot of breeders work with it simply because the, the flowers are so beautiful and big. Yeah, um, and I made a cross with this one too today. I pollinated it with pink stripes. Maybe we will succeed. The body is definitely interesting. It looks a little bit different than all the Cantora hybrids. There's a little bit more variation in the body. So I can see this working out with the father like pink stripes. Okay, guys. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate it. You can support the channel at patreon.com slash cactusjerk. And seeds are at trichocerois.net.